Survivalists and anyone who likes a good salad may want to start canning tomatoes now. Produce packers in Nogales fear a tomato war may be on the way. Craig Smith is live at the Nogales Mariposa Port of Entry with a nine on your side border watch. Well, guy, even though Customs likes to keep us well back from the port itself, you can see people backed up heading into Mexico for the Friday afternoon. But a lot of the year, you see a lot of traffic heading out of this port track of chock full of tomatoes and that makes things hum in the packing houses here in Nogales it's very very big business now but some of the packers here say tomato growers in Florida are trying to do something that could raise prices and start a tomato price war tomatoes are Mexico's big money crop for the US they mean plenty of jobs in the Nogales packing houses but packers here say growers in Florida are complaining Mexico is dumping tomatoes in the US market and driving prices too low Florida farmers are pushing for higher tariffs on Mexican tomatoes basically import fees that would make those tomatoes cost more in Nogales they fear that will squash Mexican imports and US jobs oh, we'll lose we'll lose jobs immediately if you lose the tomato industry, which is the crux of our whole produce industry here in this region and in regions like in Texas that cross through Texas and the California crossings, then you will have a loss of potential jobs that are not only directly related to our industry, but indirectly with the industries that support us, like the box industry, the seed industry, the pallet industry. Produce packers here say pick on Mexican tomatoes and Mexico could fight back with fees that target all sorts of U.S. products. In the past, Mexico has looked at retaliating against Washington apples, um, other, other fruits, California grapes, other items from the United States that go into Mexico. Now, wouldn't you know it, politics figures into all this. The Packers here think those farmers in Florida have timed this to coincide with the presidential election because they think that President Obama may want those votes, those electoral votes for the state of Florida so badly that he will give the Florida farmers what they want in the name of winning the state and perhaps winning the election. And what's Nogales doing? Well, they are turning to Arizona politicians. They've talked to the senators. They've talked to the members of Congress. They've talked to state legislators as well, trying to get them to pull for their point of view here in Nogales. So this could end up being a war of, well, which state has politicians who have more clout? Pressure on all sides. Craig, thank you.